This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. You know, every once in a while, I run across a story, a headline, an article that is just so filled to the brim, so packed with gems that I can't avoid but share it with you. (laughs) And that is the case with this story today from The Hill, I think maybe yesterday. Trump to launch speaking tour with Bill O'Reilly. You know, there's something that happens when you're you're a white man who's so accustomed to to wealth and power that when it is taken away from you, you don't act normal. You continue in a manner that is that is reminiscent of your former stature. And that is exactly that to a T describes both rapey Bill O'Reilly and dumb fuck Donald Trump. It just the way it is. So I'm going to read from this article and we're going to talk about it because it is, man, it just, it's jam packed with good stuff. Former President Donald Trump is launching a speaking tour with former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly that will aim to, quote, provide a never before heard inside view of his administration. Like, we haven't heard it all already. And also, we're relying upon Donald Trump to give the straight scoop about what took place. The liar. The unbelievable, record-setting pace of lies that were told by Donald Trump. Now, all of a sudden, he's going to be candid and tell the truth. And Bill O'Reilly is going to be the one to bring it to us. On their paid speaking tour, for which they're selling tickets here. The series, dubbed The History Tour, will feature four live conversations across the country between Trump and O'Reilly in December. Merry Christmas, everybody. The tour will discuss exactly... Now, this is, the, this is fantastic. The tour, quote, will discuss exactly how things were accomplished as well as challenges, both good and bad, unquote according to a press release announcing the series. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they're going to be talking about a lot of the bad. Meaning the bad that, that happened upon Donald Trump via the media or whatever. There's not going to be any bad. Donald Trump doesn't admit mistakes. He doesn't admit challenges. All are external forces. There's no bad decision making that comes out of dingus Donald Trump. Trump, in a statement, said the conversations will be, quote, wonderful but hard-hitting sessions, unquote, that will discuss the, quote-unquote, real problems occurring in the United States. Wonderful but hard-hitting. Who, in their right mind other than the trolls in the comment section of this video, or the trolls who call me and leave me anonymous voicemails, who thinks Bill O'Reilly is going to act ask a single hard-hitting question of Donald Trump? Come on. Quote, I will be focusing, this is Donald Trump, I will be focusing on greatness for our country, capital C. Something seldom discussed in political dialogue. (laughs) He's the only one to talk about greatness and making the country function and work and and be a reliable reliable token for its citizens. Uh, I will be focusing on the greatness for our country, something seldom discussed in political dialogue. If we don't make our country great again, we will soon no longer have a country. So it's, it's the same old hits. I look forward to working with Bill, who right now has the number one best-selling book, to openly discuss the real problems of our country and how to solve them, Trump said. Additionally, (laughs) are you ready? Please tell me you're ready. Additionally, it will be fun, fun, fun for everyone who (laughs) attends. Come on, man. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Come on down to the Monster Truck Rally. Uh, O'Reilly, the former host of Fox News' The O'Reilly Factor, 
who was ultimately ousted from the network in 2017 following sexual harassment allegations, said the conversations with Trump will not be boring. My job, ugh, this is self-aggrandizement of the highest order. My job as a historian slash journalist is to get important things on the record in a fact-based way. These conversations with the 45th president will not be boring, O'Reilly said in a statement. Hey, Bill O'Reilly, you're not a historian. You have a bachelor's degree in history. That's like saying someone with a bachelor's degree in psychology is a psychologist. History is a science. It's, it's a discipline. Maybe not a science, but it's a discipline. It takes a graduate degree, if not a doctorate, to call yourself a historian. You armchair reject. Uh, the tour opens whenever. Who cares? Um, the release announcing the tour says Trump was... This is fantastic. This is all just ass-kissing Donald Trump. The release announcing the tour says Trump was, quote, the dominant decision maker and the most powerful person in the world, citing a number of issues he handled during his presidency. Wow. So it's the, the sexual predator parade coming to you this December. For all you family values conservatives who want to go out there and Watch Donald Trump talk about how he was the most powerful man in the world. And now he runs a defund, or doesn't run it anymore because they shut down his blog because the final day before they shut it down, his dumbass from the desk of Donald Trump st st status was shared like 1,500 times. <laughs> 1,500 times. Great. Anyway, more funny than anything... I appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'd appreciate if you'd consider supporting my work here on the platform, becoming a channel member uh, for little as two bucks a month. You can support, produce this, sometimes more substantive than this, uh, content. Uh, click the join button, figure out what's involved. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, do all the, the YouTube stuff that I'm not good at talking about. I very rarely talk about subscribing, but that's important. Anyway, follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Now, I'm a, I'm no longer a YouTube YouTuber, everybody. I'm a TikToker. <laughs> um, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Do not buy tickets to this nonsense. And take care of one another.